Let's play. Everybody, it's Brian here from Let's Play Quietly, and this is another weekly whisper. This week's topic is more of a channel update and kind of a update on some games that I'd like to be playing for the channel and uh, sort of a summer plan sort of thing. But first, you may have noticed that Last week, I didn't have any videos, and one of the reasons for that is because, uh, for those of you who may be new to the channel, you may not know that there's actually two of us that do videos for Let's Play Quietly. Uh, there is myself, and there is my partner Nick, who also runs this channel with me. And Nick recently moved across the country, and he is getting settled in his new place, and so, uh, and he also had his PC die on him, and so unfortunately for Nick, he has not been able to record videos for a little while now. We are hoping that he is going to be able to get that situation resolved pretty soon. And so then there will be two of us making videos for the channel again. And we will be able to consistently keep up with our two videos a week goal. Um, in the meantime, I have been doing a fairly good job of getting new videos out every week. Last week I could not because I just could not get time to record when the environment was quiet enough. And, as you know, if you listen to a lot of ASMR channels, this is sort of the most challenging aspect of doing ASMR videos, and that is finding a nice quiet place to record and a time to record that allows you to sort of eliminate as much background noise as possible. I live in the city, and so I also live near a very busy street, and there are very few times of the day or night where there is not a lot of traffic going by. Most of the audio that I record for this channel, I record after midnight on the weekends. And so, if anything goes wrong with that recording time, then pretty much my recording for the week is shot. And so, it can be really challenging, especially now that it's summertime. And when I sat down to record this, this is actually a Sunday morning that I am recording this on. And I have several neighbors who are mowing their lawns today. And I am trying to record this in between the times that they are mowing the lawn. But it's been very difficult even to do this short video for the weekly whisper. So I am looking into alternatives. I've actually looked at potentially using someone else's space, um, maybe even trying to record at the library, uh, just to get some times and places where it is really, really quiet. I've done some soundproofing in my space, but to completely soundproof the office uh, that I record in, which is just sort of my personal office at home that I use for writing stuff, uh, that's not possible right now. And so, I try to do the best job that I can in recording audio that is decent for ASMR purposes. So, my normal setup now is I will record the gameplay during the week and get the videos that I want to do the audio for all set, and then on the weekend, I will 
record and edit the audio and the video together and have those ready for the following week. So that's generally my workflow in terms of getting videos done for this channel. So um, in any case, that's why on occasion I'll miss a week or we'll only have one new video on a particular week and that's because Nick cannot record videos right now and I have some real challenges in terms of recording ASMR audio where I currently live and at the times that I can currently record. So I apologize if I miss a video here or there, but until I find a better solution, I'm sort of um, just trying to record whenever the circumstances are correct. You'll probably even hear some background traffic today, or maybe even a lawnmower or two. But I didn't want to go a second week without having new videos up, because I didn't want people to worry that I wasn't updating the channel anymore, or that something was going on. No, nope, everything is totally fine. Nick and I are both very committed to growing this channel, and uh, we have a lot of plans for it. Right now, it's just a little challenging to record, so I will continue to do the best that I can with that. Now, as far as actual content, um, obviously you'll notice I've been doing a lot of Overwatch videos lately, and that's really for two reasons. One, I still play Overwatch probably more than any other game on a consistent weekly basis. It's still very fun for me. I'm always working on learning new characters or getting better at the characters that I already feel comfortable with. Um, lately, obviously, that's been Lucio. Although I'm now, as you will hopefully see from the other video this week, learning Bastion. And so you'll see more of that. Um, but the other thing is that it's really easy to record a match of Overwatch and then do the audio for it later. It sort of lends itself very well to that, which is why that's kind of been uh, one of the videos that I've been relying on while Nick cannot record. So, but we definitely want to return to more long form videos and more sort of let's play type of videos. So I'm not sure if the, the let's play stuff will happen more in the fall when it quiets down around my neighborhood because uh, summer is a tough time to do that. But I'd also like to know in the comments if that type of background noise is not something that bothers you, then I could try to do more recording while I'm playing, knowing that there would be more background noise. The reason I've stopped doing that is because obviously I can't control that, so if that's something that people don't mind and they'd rather hear me commenting as I'm playing, then I could try to mix some of those in because there are a lot of games that I plan on catching up on over the summer. I still haven't played Rise of the Tomb Raider. I just bought the uh, Wolfenstein from a couple years ago because I was really impressed by the sequel trailer. So I have that. I have the first and second Dishonored that I've, uh, I've started playing the first one and making my way through that. And there's a slew of other games I have, a Nintendo Switch, so I've been stockpiling Switch games. And the non-Nintendo ones I could do videos for without having to worry about the whole Nintendo creator you know, program that you're supposed to join and all that kind of stuff. Um, and the Steam Summer Sale is going on right now, and I have about 15 games in my cart that I'll be purchasing before the sale is over. So, I have a lot of games to catch up on over the summer, especially some of those that are getting sequels this fall that I wanted to go back and play the original of. So, I have plenty of games to play for this channel. That does not mean that I'll stop doing Overwatch videos, but it means that there should be more of a mix moving forward. Um, I re 
recently got back into Battlefield 1 after not really spending much time with it when it first came out. And I'm excited because that game is starting to click with me. So I will be doing some videos of that. I also bought Tekken 7 for the PS4 and Street Fighter 5 because I wanted to start getting back into fighting games. I haven't been into fighting games since Tekken 2, which was quite a few years ago now. So I have a lot of games that I want to play and I hope to do more long form videos. But if that is not happening as often as I would like, I just want you all to know that it's just because I'm trying to record whenever I can and keep putting videos out on a regular basis. So that's kind of the latest update on the channel. We have big plans for it. Nick is not going anywhere. He's just got a lot going on right now over the past few months and that's why he has not been able to record. I will continue to be uh, putting videos out. Um, another thing I want to do more of are the uh, short story readings with sort of gameplay in the background. For those of you that don't know, I am a huge horror fan and I write horror, but also I love short horror stories. And there's a couple of stories that I think would go really well with gameplay that I'm going to start putting together. Um, so look out for that in the near future, hopefully in the next couple of months. Um, I'm trying to think if there was anything else that I wanted to say this week. I don't think so. I just, again, wanted to give an update on the channel and sort of a explanation why things may or may not be inconsistent at times, but I want to thank everyone who has been supporting the channel and who has recently subscribed to the channel because it is a passion project for me. Um, I don't know if I've talked about it on a weekly whisper before, but Nick and I have another gaming channel that is a non-ASMR channel, and it's called Co-op Critics. And I'll put a link to it in the show notes if you like um, non-ASMR gaming channels as well. We do a ton of Let's Play videos. I've been doing a lot of Let's Plays lately on horror games over there. And we also do a podcast and when we had been doing that for a little while, I wanted to branch out and do an ASMR channel because I watch a lot of ASMR videos to help me sleep. And I wanted to give back to that community. And so taking gaming, which is something I absolutely love, and melding that with ASMR has been something that I really, really enjoy. And so, um, this channel's not going anywhere because this is something I enjoy doing and I want to continue doing. And I know there's been a lot of stuff recently from a lot of channels about the adpocalypse and how ad revenues have gone down. Um, that's not necessarily going to change anything that we do with this channel. Um, so... You know, we have ads that show in our videos, but we don't do the video ads at the beginning of them. And I don't think that's going to change, even though Nick and I have talked about a couple different ways of approaching that. Um, because we're not really making money off of this channel or our other channel, Co-op Critics. This is a labor of love at this point. And we will continue to uh, to put content out for both of those channels. So, um, But if you are looking for more games and you don't mind the non-ASMR discussion, then definitely check out Co-op Critics because we do videos on that channel multiple times a week as well. And obviously, because I don't have to find quiet time to record, it's a lot easier to do videos for that channel. So we're very consistent over there. But, um, yeah, so anyways, that's the update. I expect to have some uh, new games in the mix soon. 
for the channel. So Overwatch isn't going away. But um, in any case, I just wanted to sort of give people an update. So thank you very much for supporting the channel. Thank you for listening to me ramble on for the past 10 minutes or so. And um, we'll continue to put out videos for Let's Play Quietly. And when Nick comes back, we may even increase the output for the channel as well. So that is going to wrap it up for this weekly whisper. So if you like this video, then please click like and subscribe to our YouTube page. And I will be back again soon with another weekly whisper.